so I'm back with another video after what has probably been around two or three months and I'm really sorry about that, um, I've just kind of been busy, I've got a new job etc so I've just not had a chance to film but I'm back to it, I'm hoping to do one video a week, maybe leading into two but I'm only going to commit to one at the moment um, and I thought for the first one back I would do a nice easy video that probably most people enjoy and it is a haul. Um, now, this is actually quite a big haul for me, I feel like this is this is huge, I'm sat here looking at it and it's like whoa, but this is from like the whole of September and a bit of this month that's happened, um, so it's not, not all been bought in one go or anything like that, um, but it's just some things I've been buying, there's a couple of kind of bigger purchases that I've been saving for for a while and I've kind of wanted for a while, so I thought I'd treat myself seeing as, I've, seeing as, as I have started a new job. Um, so yeah, I'll just get on with it then, so this is not a really long introduction, and it is all clothes and accessories and shoes, so I'm just going to get on with it then, and we'll start with shoes first. Um, and the first is a pair of boots, just black boots, and they are these, which are, they are these kind of just black, I don't know if you, you wouldn't really call them Chelsea boots, I don't think, but they're just kind of black boots I like to get a pair every year for kind of autumn winter and these are going to be my pair this year um so I'll just show you one of them a bit dusty actually I'm not sure why but yeah so they basically just have a zip detail on the side silver and then they have a zip on this side this is actually a functioning zip as well um and then they do have a little bit of a heel I'm not usually one to buy heels as I said because I'm tall but these have quite an okay heel for me um, and yeah, they're just plain black. They are not leather, I don't think. Um, they may be, I don't know, I doubt it because of the price. They were only 30, I want to say 38 pound, but it may have been 35. Um, so they weren't, they weren't expensive at all. And they do them in brown as well. My mum actually on the same day got the brown pair and they are really nice as well. Um, so yeah, I really like these. And as I said, there is two. Um, and yeah, I think these are going to be, they're really comfortable actually as well, and as I said, they fit me great. So yeah, they're what I got from Next. The next pair from Next is going to be a kind of a love it or hate it. Um, I happen to love them, and I wore them the other day, and I really like them. I'm just going to do up the strap for you, because that's not very good to show you. But they are flats, and they're these black flats, but then I don't know how well you can see them, but they do actually have a pom-pom on the front, which I really like, like a furry pom-pom. I know ASOS kind of does some shoes like this, but um, ASOS don't really tend to do my size, so I got these from New Next, and I really like them. They're not the comfiest shoes ever, I have worn them once and I don't know if I need to just break them in or not, but they're kind of round this bit, they're not the comfiest, but they didn't like destroy my feet or anything like that. So basically they're just, there's not much to them really, and then they have this like ankle strap here, which I really like, I like that detail, um, and again there is two of them. And these were £28, which is not very expensive at all, in my opinion, for shoes. I know there isn't much to them, but they're still, they're, well, they're not real suede, but they have a suede effect to them, and I like them. So, yeah, they're from Next. Now, on to the um, New Look shoes. And the first, these are both kind of loafery type shoes. Um, the first is this grey, kind of stone-coloured pair. Um, and they look like that. So they have kind of like a brownie coloured on the bottom. You can see that. And then they are stone kind of grey colour on the top. And they are painted. Both, in fact, the loafers are painted. Which, I like the painting. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, these, I've been kind of deciding whether I want to get them for a while. But then they were £5 off the other day when I was in the store. So I thought I would get them. So they were initially £22.99. Um, but they were obviously £5 off, so that was a good deal, and I think that's still the case now. Um, yeah, so I like these. Um, as I said, I haven't worn them yet, but new look shoes are kind of hit and miss whether they're comfortable or not. Um, but I feel like these will be okay. These will be fine. And the final pair of shoes is again from new look, and again a low free kind of patent colour, and it is this black patent loafer. Um, so it does have kind of a stud detail there, I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, and then just has the low free detail at the front and these ones have a little bit of a heel compared to those ones um, yeah these ones though I had to get them in a size 8 which I am not normally an 8 but they are wide fit and I found they were very big um, these fit perfectly but the 9s would have been like swamped to my feet so yeah I got them in an 8 so if you do want these I would advise to size down but yeah as I said there was two of them as well and I really like them, and they were, um, 
I'm wanting to say £22 again. New Look Shoes kind of always around that kind of mark for like flat. So yeah, that is those. So I've got two bags to show you and a couple of bits of accessories, but I'm going to leave them till the end. So I'll show you the clothes now. Um, so there's a couple of bits from Primark and then two other bits as well. So I'll show you the Primark ones first. Now, this jumper you've probably seen already so many times because so many bloggers, etc. have it. But I liked it, so I wanted to get it as well. And it is this. And it has this kind of like lace-up detail, which is very in at the moment. Um, and it's just kind of a regular length jumper. I kind of, I bought it in a bit of a bigger size so that it was kind of baggy. Um, because I didn't think this kind of jumper would look good tighter. Um, and it's just long sleeves and yeah, long like that. I'm not going to show any of these on, but um, a lot of them do appear on my blog. So I'll leave a link down below to that and just check it out. You'll see pretty much all of these things appearing on there already or at some point soon. So yeah, but this is a jumper. This was £14 I think, which for a jumper is quite good, quite thick as well. And it hasn't gone all, I've worn it a few times, and it hasn't gone all bobbly or anything, which is pretty good. It's been washed and everything, so... I like it and for £14 you can't really go wrong so yeah that's from Primark. Next from Primark and sticking with kind of the lace up -y theme if you will is this shirt and again it is just a plain cream shirt with not really bell sleeves but kind of they go out a little bit and then it's just kind of flowy at the bottom but what I liked is this like lace, de lace up detail here it's quite subtle um, I don't know if you can see it because of the bow, but yeah, it's just got gold hardware on it. Um, and I like this. It is very sheer. I mean, let me just put my hand under it and show you. You can, you can see right through it. So I would suggest wearing a like cami under this or something. Um, I haven't worn it yet, but I am planning to at some point. Um, I do really like it. And I saw this was only ten pound. I saw one. I went went in River Island and saw practically the same shirt but it was maybe £30 so that's just crazy but as I said this was from Primark and it was only 10 so. Now speaking of River Island I have wanted a faux fur gilet a brownie kind of tanny coloured one for so long now and then I walked in River Island and finally just took the plunge I think I had um, a gift like a not a gift card a 25% off or something that you got in L last month um, so I used that and I got this amazing gilet so it's just kind of your regular waistcoaty type gilet and it does fasten at the top but I would never wear it fastened um, and then it's not really that long it kind of is just like your average length but what I just love is how soft it's just so soft this like if you could feel this right now you would know it was so soft just go into a violin and feel it but um, this was quite expensive, it was £65, but as I said I got the discount so it came down to about 40 ish with whatever else I bought. Um, but I would have probably paid the full price for this because it is good quality and I've worn it a few times already. I'm kind of praying that the cold weather comes along soon because I just want to be able to wear it more. Following on with the gilet type theme is this one from Matalan and this isn't going to be everyone's taste but I really like it and this is just a candy floss pink gilet and as I said it's from Matalan and now I don't really go in Matalan very often I never I find their sizing is really weird and then I never really see anything that I like but I was in there and I saw this and I just thought I had to have it um, so as you can see I've left the tag on because I haven't actually, actually I have wore this, why is the tag still on? I don't know, does anyone else ever do that? They're like, try it on, don't take the tag off and then think, yeah I'll take it off afterwards and then just leave the house. That's totally what I did with this because I've worn it at least twice. Um, but it is, it was £20 as you can see there, which I don't think is too bad for this. It does again button up in the middle and it's just, this is a shorter one so this I kind of, I wear this for work sometimes. Um, with like a, just a skirt, pattern skirt and stuff and I really like it. Um, that is on my blog as well and outfits for that so I'll try and link that below. But yeah, I like it. This is not as soft as the other one but still pretty darn soft. And I think they do this in other colours as well but I'm not certain of that so don't hold me to that. But yeah, that's from Matalan. Um, now I've got three things that as I mentioned at the beginning are kind of splurges um, but... I just, I just thought I'd treat myself, um, and the first is something that I've wanted for so long, and then I thought, seeing as it's getting colder, I found it silly to buy these in the, like, summer months, even though I knew I would wear them soon, I just found it silly, but, um, 
it's actually from Charlotte Simone. Now, if you haven't heard of her, she does kind of faux fur or real fur. I went with faux fur though, but she does real fur as well. Kind of stoles, um, hats, etc., etc. Um, and she brings out a new collection every year, and I am so glad I held out for the new collection because she brought out a new version, and it's called. They're normally called popsicles. What she does, the they're like stole things. But this one's called a Big Daddy Popsicle, don't know the reason for that, but it's basically just a giant faux fur stole. And I got this one because I liked the grey and black, um, as I said I wear grey and black a lot in the kind of colder months, in fact I wear it all year round, but, um, but she always puts a pop of colour on the end and this one has like this pink, it kind of looks more pastel-y in the camera I think. But it is kind of more like a neon-y, lilac -y pink. It's great, I love it. It does look different for the picture on the website, but I like it all the same. And it's basically just a giant fur collar. And what I like about this one is this bit does actually slot through. So you can kind of wrap it through and then it kind of just secures. And I really like it. Um, this was quite expensive. Um, you can go on her website and see them. Um, the fur ones are a lot more, they're double the price and I didn't get this one, get faux fur because it was cheaper, I just don't like the idea of wearing fur so I decided to go with the faux fur one and it just so happened to be cheaper um, but you can have a look on her website and check them out properly, she does lots of different colours, lots of different styles but this one I really liked and I'm so happy I've got it, I've already worn it once and I'm so happy, you could also wear it like that I suppose, just like on one shoulder, I don't know how that would look but yeah so that's from Charlotte Simone and I love it and yeah it's just great now on to two bags I'll start with the, the one I got the like furthest away I've had this one the longest so I've used it more too so it's basically this this is called the Selma but I think this is the medium it's not the smallest one and it's not the largest one so it must be the medium I'm not sure um, and it's basically got silver hardware, which I like. I'm not a fan of the gold hardware because I very rarely, obviously my watch today is gold, rose gold, but very rarely wear gold. So this is kind of houndstooth, black and white. Um, I'm not sure what collection this was from or anything, but I saw it and really liked it. So it does have a top handle like this, which I have carried it occasionally, like in the crook of, crook of your arm. But I like the fact, because of the size of this one, that it has the big strap as well. So it has a long strap, but it's not super long. So, as I said, I'm quite tall, and this bag, normally I don't go for small bags because they kind of look silly on me. But this one's kind of just the right size small bag for me. Um, so yeah, I've, I've used this quite a lot actually, and I really like it. I've had a few compliments on it as well because it kind of stands out which is different, that's what I liked, is it's a bit different, it does still have the black sides and the shape of the Selma and everything, but it's just different, I like the pattern of it. So yeah, that was from Michael Kors as I said, and I may try and link it if I can find a link to it, but I'm not sure if it's still available, etc, but yeah. So now moving on to the very final thing, and probably the most exciting thing, and something that I've wanted for absolutely ages now and when I saw it I just I just thought I'd treat myself as I said new job just thought I'm gonna treat myself and it is from Stella McCartney and it is a Falabella I think they're called this is the largest size that they do and it's the one without the long strap I think they only come on the size below but this is the largest one that they do so it's basically like a giant tote bag. It's not zipped or anything at the top, it's just open. It just has like um, a metal clasp. But what I like is all the chains. It has obviously the Stella McCartney, I don't know how well you can see that, the Stella McCartney little logo emblem thing on it. And then it's just got two chain handles and the chain detail runs all the way along the sides, both sides. And then yeah, and I got it in the black because I like I like the black shade, but it's kind of like a shiny almost black. It's suede, not leather, um, but it is the shiny piece and it goes all the way around. And it is just a giant kind of open space. I've got the stuff in it still. But it has um, pink lining inside, which I really like. But yeah, as I said, I've wanted this for ages. This is not something that I buy all the time. I don't own... I don't own that many bags like this or expensive bags but I saw it 
and I just thought I was going to take the plunge and buy it um, and I'm so happy I did I've already used it twice and I've only had it I think I've only had it a week maybe maybe two um, but I don't really use it for work or anything like that because one I don't take that much stuff when I'm at work and two it's just going to be sat on the floor under my desk and I don't like the idea of that let me know if you want me to do kind of a what's in my bag with either the Michael Kors or this one. This one might be quite good because it's a big bag, kind of how I organise my stuff in it. Um, I have had to adapt somewhat to putting things in little pouches, etc. But I like it and I don't regret buying this at all. And I'm so happy I own it now. Yay! So that's everything that I've bought. Um, last month slash this month as I said I told you it was going to be a big haul but I haven't bought this all at once I never normally buy this much I think it was just kind of I've got a new job let's just go and buy things but now I'm kind of not going to buy anything for a while I've kind of put myself in a little ban for a while um, but yeah I love everything I got as I said I'll link everything below if I can find it if you like this video then give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and if you want to see more videos from me in the future hopefully one a week, then hit subscribe, which is not up there, it's down there, um, and yeah, I would appreciate that too, and I will see you in my next video then, bye!